the uh, love thinking about other people's topics and some questions that they sort of pose and the thing was photography decks from ascension wave okay ascension waves talks about photography decks and oracle decks is it too artistic with tarot collection tarot decks but you can use oracle as well now i thought about it and to be honest i have not actually purchased many actual photography decks i think the only real photography that i have purchased is the herb crafters i think a lot of them are drawn or painted or digitally manipulated i don't feel like i have any actual photography decks that i've actually purchased except for the herb crafter this seems to be the only one to me that feels like photos it feels like photos it's the only one that i have okay so in saying that i look back in the decks that i've created for myself and a lot of these were created in 2014 and not tarot but actually oracle decks okay the first one is the Vesta's Art Oracle deck. Now, some of it's my digital art. Okay, so I'm not going to worry too much. Now, this was actually taken from a photo and then manipulated into... A lot of these were photos. So he got photo here, photo here, photo here manipulated to make it warped perception. So a lot of this was photos that I actually took and then changed it to be a little bit different of course but they were originally photos I mean there might be others in this collection here that were originally photos but then manipulated and so they look a bit more um, arty so to speak So some of this was actually photos. Now this is called Vesta's Art Oracle Deck, available through Make Playing Cards. Okay, so that was the first deck I sort of created that had photos in it. Now I also created my Lennon Mand deck. Now this had some of my photos in it, not all. So let me just go through and grab the photos. This was my photo, the moon. Tree. It's not, it's not, it's not. Some of these just stock photos. But some of them are actual my photos. So you can see. even the pathway card the road path what do you like to call it even that card so those were some of my photos that i used in my linen man deck again available through make playing cards if you want i really did them for myself but they are available if interested okay so i made a couple of decks actually for myself this one here is now these are mainly photos and i've manipulated them now this is available through make playing cards as well it's called um the nature spirits okay so these are all done with photos so these are all photos and you can use them upside down left and right whatever way you want to do them when you're doing a reading and they are originally photos where i have taken them and duplicated and turned them around and done colored them and done something else and 
So these were all originally photos. Some of straight photos still out there, but basically these are all photos that I've done something with to create this oracle deck, nature sacred, um, nature spirits oracle. No keywords. No, it's just coming from your own intuition. So what what do you see in the image? What colors stand out? What message seems to come through from the spirit of the nature? So what does it mean? So a lot of these were photos and then manipulated in some way to create this oracle deck. So again, photography used to create an oracle deck that you can use with your own intuition. There's no keywords. Um, it's all about what you see, what's what it's what it says to you personally. So this is one of the um, oracle decks I created by using photos, not all just my digital art on a canvas. This was all um, photos used. Okay, so I did create another deck now not available through make playing cards i did this myself um let me see if i can grab them i've mixed the two decks together it's the i've got the digital art here which are not photos some of them are but not really it was a photo manipulated okay so photo Photo. I think that was actually a photo. That's a photo, photo. Oops, not that one. That's definitely a photo, photo. Photo. So you can see here we go. Right here. Is a selection I've just used words on the bottom of them and then the colors for the flowers as well this I made for myself now I can order it for somebody if somebody wants the set it has the two decks in one it does have the ones with no words on them Okay, so these have no words, so you can just use your own intuition, and these have words on the bottom. So yeah, oh, that's and there's nothing. That's that's photos I stock, which you find a lot of decks like that. I think I've you know decks I've created um, on make playing cards that have the stock. That's the animal ones. Um, just example. But basically, for myself, for use, this is a really good deck to use. No, it's not that many cards. And so I've got the two together. I've got two different backs, of course. And for some reason, I had them together. So anyway, that's my photography decks. Don't really, I haven't purchased any oracle or tarot decks except for the herb crafters that i would call oh sorry i lied i absolutely lied photography deck forgot all about this one it's the one that i should think about actually super lied I super lied. Okay, so let's have a look. First one is Wanda of the Mother. This is taken of people. This is a people's deck. And yes, they're all photos created. So I lied. I had purchased a deck with photos in them.
So definitely, so I've got words in that on the back about the photo, about the message. So quite superb. So yeah, I'm not going to throw them all. So definitely is a great photography, is a great deck that uses photography. That's right. Now let me have a look at this deck here. Now, this is Sue Nicholson's Butterfly Guiding Oracle, uh, Guiding Light Oracle. Okay. Now, not all the cards are photos. So let's have a look at what we've got here. Okay, so that's not. So this one's a photo, the foundation card. This one with the guides. This one with compassion. That one. Maybe that uses a bit of photos in it. Just trying to have a look. Don't know whether that's a photo. That's, that's a photo of some sort. Maybe the butterfly one there. Oh, that's got a um, shark on it. So some of these have got photos. Definitely a photo orientated. Some of them look like they're more drawn. more collagey of course this is a more of a collage deck in some way but it's still got photos on it so it's interesting So interesting deck. So that's um, Sue Nicholson's Butterfly Guiding Light. So you just have to keep thinking in your collection. What have you got that is photo orientated? Are they, or are they more um, drawings? So if you can think of anything that I've got in my collection that you've seen, that seems to be, um, let's put this in the bag so I don't go everywhere. Um, any deck that you feel that's in my collection that is photo photography deck, let me know down below because it seems like my brain's like a sieve at the moment. So that's it in regards to photography decks that I've already created myself. If you're interested in anything, let me know and I can tell you whether it's available on. Well, go and check out my make make playing cards. You can see the link on my channel anyway. Um. So yeah, that's it from me. Take care and blessed be.